Good morning, everybody. I'm going to show you this morning how I hooked up waffles. And um, I like to get my nutrients and vitamins in in my breakfast. I don't want just to just eat a biscuit or just a pancake. I want to put fruit on it. I want, uh, you know, vitamins, nutrients in my fruits like strawberries and bananas, of course, potassium and all that goodness in, in a strawberry. Um, we want to hook it up like the IHOP up in this circle. <laughs> Just dump a bunch of sugar on it, like a bunch. I don't even know that much, just a bunch. Just dump, dump, dump. Spoon. All right, we're gonna just spread them strawberries around in that sugar. We're gonna get them all coated up real good. Sugar, sugar, mo, mo, sugar. All in there, just get all in there. So we're gonna let that start working, doing its thing. And you know, I like if I have any. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice, all right? Hopefully, it's gonna break down that sugar, help bring that, break down the sugar faster. Maybe seems like it would. The uh, the um, acids. Just squeeze that all out. Yep, start the syrup up already. See all the syrup? It's going to come out of there. The sugar just drags the, uh, the, the sugar with the, uh, the fruit. Start making a preserve. You add to, basically, whenever you add the, um, the lemon juice to the sugar and strawberry and just about any other fruit, well, what you've done is you just made a preserve. So, yeah, no, this is kind of like preserves. So, if you want to skip making this fresh, you can probably just use strawberry preserves. And still get, mm -hmm. that's good. And still get your, uh, vitamins out of this problem. You know? Now, while that soaks, and it's making that delicious syrup, just almost instantly, look at the syrup. It's already doing exactly what we want it to do, and it's gonna be ready, hopefully, by the time we get this other stuff done. It is now 10, 12. Six minutes has passed. Check it out. Now we want to get together our uh, our batter. So in the ninja, we're going to use the um, dough attachment in the dough blender uh, canister here. Where's the lead to this? 
Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start out with two eggs. Also, I have my iron getting hot. So I'm gonna start out with one. Two eggs. Right. Right. And then, I don't know, we can measure if you want to. Um, I don't ever measure, I just dump. This is uh, vanilla flavor. I don't know, let's just dump some in there. Yeah. Oh no, that might have been too much. Dump some more. Don't add it, just dump. Salt, you gotta have salt. Bread without salt. No good, no good. So don't ever dump into your, always dump into your hand in case you didn't know, now you know. More than that. We'll make it a little bit salty, salt is good. All right, then we're gonna eat a little bit of olive oil or any kind of oil, bacon grease is great. But Omar might want one and he don't eat bacon grease. So we're gonna be olive oil today. Just a shot, don't matter, just pour some damn oil in there. Now we got our, um, Third cup measures here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's two cups. Two cups of flour. And then I got my little bit of milk here that's expired. Uh, on the 17th, today is the, it's not expired yet, is it? It is expired? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah, two days ago. Today's 19th. Yeah, expired two days ago. This is the milk that I want to use. I already have fresh milk in the refrigerator to drink, but this is the milk that I want to use in my pancakes, biscuits, dumplings, you know, you want to use that just over the sour milk. Now when it starts clabbering up and it's, I can't use that. This actually smells good. I would drink it if I didn't have regular fresh milk. But I save this just for uh, baking, cooking, whatever. So if I was to measure, I guess I'll, I just usually dump, dump. And I'm looking for a consistency. But I measure, you know, we got two cups. It's probably, let's say, Let's see what a half a cup does first. Yeah, right. It's still probably need a whole cup. Let's do a whole cup. All right. Let's see how thick that gets. Okay. Also, don't forget the banana. I've also found these dough blades don't really do a really good job at chopping up your banana for you. So you need to kind of uh, get the banana ready for the dough blade. All right, we're gonna dump that one in. Dump, that's the word of the day. Dump, dump it in. Dump it in there, one more banana. I'm not trying to be, you know, remember, I want my vitamins, one banana, between three people, four people, that's not enough. At least give me a half a banana. That's the way you, uh, I think about it. So how many bananas? I'm like, how many bananas would I eat in the morning? I would want one banana by myself, minimum of a half a banana. I need the nutrients out of a half a banana. So if I want, got four people, I got two bananas, well, by the time you get done with all that, but we're gonna have, and that's even, that's if, uh, that's if I got the, uh, the flour ratio and milk ratio right. Whenever I start dumping it in the iron, the waffle iron. So we'll say, let's see how much two cups of flour. You got two bananas, salt, oil. I think that's pretty much it. Take a sip. We're pretty much just ready to whip it together. 
You know what, too? I don't know. Why not? Because it's delicious. Um, I got two things of sour cream in this fridge. Let's just dump that in here, too. Just dump the rest of this in there. I like flavor. That's another flavor in my pot. You know what I mean? Whenever you got so many flavors dancing together in your mouth. Yeah. Just add another flavor to it. The oil is another flavor. The salt is a flavor. Not only does the oil kind of add uh, a light flavor to it, but, you know, um, you need it to to get it to, to, for the dough really to fluff up and do its thing, you need to put the, a little oil in there. So anyway, let's whip that up. I can't think of any other flavors that, but, that would be good. You know, you could also probably, butter would have been a good oil to put in there. Um, but anyway, here we go. Dough. <laughs> We need more milk. It's coming out like a biscuit. So, uh, let's do another half a cup. One and a half cups of milk so far. One and a half cups of milk so far to two cups of flour. It might end up being one to one, but let's see. Let's see here. It's a little thin. Let me run my spoon around it for a second. I'm not happy with that consistency. So, half a cup was too much. Maybe I should have done a Oh, it's still, hold on. It's still on the edges. Let me, let me, um, <clears throat> It says dough here, but I'm putting it on crust. Alright, now that looks smooth. Just like we want it to. Mm. I probably would want it, yeah, just a little thicker than that. I like a fluffy high-rising pancake. So look, I'm not even adding another third of a cup. I just want to thicken that up a little bit. It's almost right. I would say one and a quarter cup of milk to two cups of the flour. a lot did it but let's get a pancake popper let's get a waffle popper and then you stay you can sure smell the bananas all right it back in there Sure, we got it turned up. We got a medium. All right. Now, I still think that's thin. Good thing I only made one waffle so far. We forgot to sweeten it. I knew I was forgetting something. We forgot to sweeten it. So, sugar, of course, you can 
if you're diabetic, whatever, you might want to stop about right there. And if you really like sugar, you want to make a pan, like a cake, just dump, dump it in there. You want to add a little more fluff to them. Just dump some baking powder in there. Fluff them up a little bit. That, didn't, that wasn't much at all that I just dumped in there. Then, if you want your kids to be like, you know, you really did something, they don't want to change the flavor. Add some cocoa powder, make them chocolate waffles, chocolate pancakes. Start stacking vanilla, chocolate, vanilla, chocolate, and make a pretty. Um, maybe we'll do that. No way. Not ready. So um, that's a lot of sugar. That's a lot of sugar. But it smells delicious. It smells like banana. Um, that sure is thin. It's, um, we're going to add another third of a cup. So, yeah, I almost took the whole another third of a cup. In but I would still say two cups to one and a quarter of milk. Two bananas. And I... We're rocking it. It looks great in the pan. The fluff, the fluff, looking good. The rise, show them that, show them the tear in there is how, how I think the cake is between the top and the bottom of the waffle pan. Yep. It's got a good rise to it. And that one didn't have the baking powder on it. So the next one's gonna have more fluff than that. So I think we're going to try to rock it. Smells good. Don't even mark. Yeah. Smells like uh, banana bread coming out the oven. Just it smells so good. Lots of bananas. Lots of bananas. Lots of fruit. But that's what we need. Yeah. Just eating the bread and the flour part, sure, that's going to fill the hole, but... We got the salted butter. I wish I would have had this room temperature. We have a, a butter over there, a room temperature butter, but it's not enough. I like the filet now. So check it out. Let's go kind of like that milk on there for a sec. Get ready to start stacking. What's going on with the strawberries? Look at that syrup. 
that it's already done and what has it been? Um, it's 10.32 in music. It was 10.06 when we started that, these strawberries. So that's a nice, nice syrup in just like 30 minutes, you know? We all about some great value up in here. So look, we just gone dump it. We're gonna make this. We're gonna finish out. We got we're gonna have four vanilla. And then we're just gonna dump some of this cocoa powder in there and give it a whip. There we go. I don't think it takes much. So, here's our waffle. Sorry about the uh, taste test, man. No more I had to compare that to the first one. And yes, this one's definitely sweeter and better. Um, um, what taste test? What are you talking about, Omar? <laughs> I don't know it. See anything. So, um, I need a spoon for that. So, we're going to get... The, that syrup. And that's the strawberries. And uh, my Cool Whip was in the fridge. Always store your Cool Whip in the freezer. Don't have to worry about it going bad. I guess that's good. Remember, the more syrup, add more sugar. The more syrupy you want, you need to add more sugar. So, um, that, uh, probably would also be good, you know, let me show you. So, if you're like me and you got stuff growing in your yard, you hardly, you hardly ever really have the opportunity to use things like mint or pineapple sage or these. So anytime you kind of get an opportunity to kind of throw one in, mint is good in your cucumber water. If you like infused water, mint is good in like, a, you can make like a cucumber salad, you know, with the tomatoes and everything, you can add mint. And I just want to... Um, cut that vein out the back of it. Okay. I'm just gonna chop this as just as fine as I can with the scissors. Kind of spread it out. Probably would have been good to put it in the. Uh, Infuse it with the strawberries. My wife likes mint. Hopefully. Oh yeah, our waffle's probably ready, huh? All right, just in time, I think. This is done. So. Adds a little more color. I wish I had a big old glob of Cool Whip to throw right in the middle of that, but I don't. I'll let you know what she said. It looks good. It's got a good, um, so now we're gonna do the chocolate. Now we're gonna pour some chocolate ones in there. And this consistency, look at it. That's what you want. You want that batter to look just like that. It's gonna fluff up real good. Yeah, that's 
about where you want to throw it in the waffle iron. See how it just goes in the middle and just coming out the edge. Now when it starts pushing itself. There we go. Get when you open this up. Remember, it's chocolate. It's not burnt. Look for, you're still looking for the golden brown on top of the chocolate. And this looks like it's just there. See the brown? That's what we want. Butter. Our butter. Really low on the butter. You have to break out the great valve, you land the lakes, it's gone. Um, we just pulled the pancake out, the chocolate pancake. I'm going to try to wrap this video up for you. And here is uh, the vanilla cake. I'm going to throw that right on top of there. Or, you know what? No, it don't matter. We're going to do the chocolate up top. Actually, this just is more of a tower effect, and this one's smaller, you can see them both. Let's do this one up top. All right, then let's add more butter to that. All right, and then, okay, I think my butter is not going to melt fast enough. Just a little, just a little, mash it in there. Mash it in there. Gotta have the butter, the butter in those pockets. That's the whole purpose of inventing the waffle is these butter pockets. You gotta pack them pockets with the butter. Yeah. All If I had Cool Whip, I'd throw it between this chocolate and this, and I'd put me a glob of it right in the middle. I'd make a, like a, um, but I'll show you what I do have, marshmallow cream. We have some marshmallow cream. Looks like Cool Whip. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be sweet. Right, so, so check it out, check it out. All right, so on the next one, let's make it like a sandwich. Oh yeah, let's get creative. We don't have a uh, cool whip. We're gonna make do. And we're still gonna make a beautiful display of our breakfast. All right, so. This is the waffle with our marshmallow cream on it. It's kind of melted into the pockets. It's okay, it's good. It's good. And then we're going to add um, the top waffle, right? And then we're going to put on the strawberry. Oh, shit. 
back in for a second, Omar. Then, we're going to, um, look, check it out. I don't want to do this. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to... Yeah, I just want to do this. Look, I'm just going to spread it out on that. Yep, I just want to even it all out. This is the last bit. I'm going to have to make some more. Right. And then, we're going to top it off with our top cake. And then, I don't know. I wish it was cool whip. I wish it was cool with it's probably enough marshmallow cream, but I want that scoop of pretty on top. And then, yeah. There it is. And there's the cherry on top. I had more stuff, you know, to make it more pretty. I wish I'd have made more strawberry stuff, but I didn't. And if you don't have time to do that, that's okay. Check it out. You don't have to do the, uh, you know, you don't have to do the syrup. You can do it this way also. There's more than one way to do it. Oh shoot! There we go. So there we go. I think we're gonna um call that done. And there's our breakfast masterpiece today. Hope y'all have enjoyed it. Hope y'all try it. I hope you like it and leave a comment on it if you do. Let us know how it turned out. You know, what you think about the, the banana flavor popping through and the, all the strawberry and fruity goodness. We forgot to try our food. We don't even know what it's gonna taste like. We just know it's kinda pretty. So let's try it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The cherry is definitely delicious. Mm -hmm. That's good. Ah, quality skip. So. Very good. Mm, mm, mm. What do you think, Omar? That's good, huh? That's good and sweet. I like this stuff. Yeah, but not, uh, it's not like too sweet. I'm not crazy like about. Yeah, yeah, sweet. it's not too sweet, but yeah. it's good. I'm, uh -huh. I mean, for me, like I like sweet stuff. Yeah. <laughs> for me, like this is what I like. <laughs> but you know how sometimes like it's the icing, good. you know, sometimes it's just. And I thought that maybe with that marshmallow cream, that it would be too sweet, you know. But it's not. It's good. Yeah.
Thanks for watching. Hit the notification bell so you can keep up. Let me do.